<laughs> Moving on from one grilled cheese sandwich to the next, we got uh, Windjammers, which was nominated by at Alm underscore writer and at Call Me the Swede on Twitter. Uh, and it was published or developed by Data East and published by SNK. Earliest release uh, is February 17th, 1994. For the Neo Geo Arcade, I guess machine thing. What are the, is that the is that the AVS or no the, no that's the MVS. The AES MVS. is the home console. Yeah, I confuse them all the time. I mean, the Neo Geo is an incredibly fascinating console. I'm surprised we haven't covered it more on here, but um, shame on you. <laughs> well, it's not our fault. People don't nominate those games. Yeah, well, yeah, shame don't on them. nominate them. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Shame on you, listeners. Please this is rate, your subscribe. Fault. <laughs> this is it's your fault. It's your fault. I love this. Yes. Uh, Before we get sidetracked, we need to talk about what Windjammers so, like, is. Windjammers is like... A fucking great game. It is really good. It is, it is like mm. everything you love about Pong plus like sunglasses and okay. volleyball. <laughs> Listen, like I, <laughs> I hold yeah. the belief that Windjammers is like the grandfather, the the basis of all the stupid, weird, lovable, amazing, great uh, eSport bullshit games that we have these days. That's like Rocket huge. League? Yes, I call it Rocket League. Yes, right. That's another one, right. Because, like, in recent years, there have been a lot of games like that. And it's basically just, like, pushing ball around, scoring a goal, and it's oh, yeah. frantic, moving. I think all of that, like, all of that sort of has a foundation in Windjammers. I think the, it could be considered, like, the first of all of those games. It kind of is. It's like taking a fake sport and just it's like creating i don't know what you would how you would you describe uh, it i i call it extreme frisbee soccer soccer hockey hockey golf i, I keep saying hockey for Listen, some it is very close they, to they air have hockey a, they win. have a name it's flying disc game that is that is what the oh, game calls itself it's it, flying yeah, this game could, like, Flying is it flying game. disc game or super flying disc game? I think they didn't they put like an extra adjective in there. Wait, let me see. Sure it's they just have flying, disc game. flying disc game because frisbee's a trademark, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's I, I'm pretty sure that the subtitle yeah, no, to Ben Jammers is just flying disc game. It's there's no. Yeah, super. no, it is just I'm flying. Like, it is just flying disc game. I actually right. I have a video of it Su- on. Super right flying now. disc game is the uh, Dojin game that you can get that was released in 2000 and something. I think. <laughs> Yeah, there uh, have been a few Windjammers clones, surprisingly. There was one, like, in the making called, I think, Disc Jam for the PS4. Yeah. Oh, it is. Uh, how, how does it compare compared to Windjammers? Um, well, oh, that, God. That's so, okay, I, I, I actually bought that, like, three weeks ago, and I still haven't played it. But I've seen videos of okay. it, like the Giant Bomb Quick Look, and I share some of my complaints with Jeff Gersman, who says... It is exactly like Windjammers, except they made two changes so they wouldn't like get a lawsuit or something. Uh, the camera is different. Instead of a top-down view, you get a view from behind, which I think is super dumb. And mm-hmm. it's a lot slower. Uh, I mean, the, the, the first videos that they had out of it were even slower, so they sped it up a little on the final release, but it's it still doesn't quite feel right because it doesn't have this like so no go ahead i'm sorry this seems like this game would be easy to improve upon just turn the frisbee into like a buzzsaw blade (laughs) and just have it so it just it it will occasionally decapitate one of your opponents Uh, that's called called the thunderdome one man two men enter and one man leaves yes that's right deal face the wheel um (laughs) thunder jammers that needs to happen, even if it's just an unofficial game. So but, um, let's let's back it up a little bit, because we because uh, you still although, haven't described what Windjammers yeah, is. Yeah, other than exactly. It's Pong, Hint, which is right. not yeah. helpful. Hints me saying, Cal, let's back it up a little bit. Yeah, That's I where know. that was going. Yeah. I was, yeah. it, it is Pong. More specifically, I would say it is like uh, like Atari's like what is it like on the old uh, you know Atari twenty six hundred consoles like one of the. Uh, 
one of the um, modes on uh, what was it, combat or something, right? Or what? Not combat. Uh, I don't know what this game you're describing until you tell me what mode you're after. Combat <laughs> is the the, the top down tank game with the it airplanes. Was, yeah, no, it's not that. Not that. Not the tank game. I know there was tank pong, but that's not it. But there wasn't there a tennis? mode of. No, it wasn't tennis. I, maybe it was just called pong. I don't know. And there is I, I, warlords. Uh, that's it's a not good warlords, game. but it's like it's basically like sticky paddle, the sticky paddle mode on the right on the pong thing. So I think it's like I've played a mode like that. Yeah, go. Yeah, so it's where it's like it's where you uh, it's it's just like pong, except when it touches your paddle, or in this case, your buff dude. Our um, girl. Oh, dude. Yeah, there's, there's oh, eight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I love the buff dudes. I always play as the buff dudes. It's just, we well, there's five the buff dudes, dudes, but the one slightly buff Yeah, I can't, lady, I can't so get enough of them. It. I just want, just want to like bury my face in their buff Sticky chests. Balls. And, yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> no oh I mean, I, uh, it, oh, so, so when you, when, when it, when it, it's like Pong, but when it touches your paddle, it sticks to it and you get to reposition it, it, uh, that reminds bit. me of the uh, catch capsule from Arkanoid more than anything. Yeah, um, yeah, I think the 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 parallel here is is better remembered from breakout type of games. This is the this is the sticky the sticky the sticky implement episode here where we're yeah, yeah. yeah just just keep sticky saying sticky over and course. over until we hit like when our it'll be great. That's for the uh, kill wave uh, you know cover of this uh, episode. Okay, well, 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 Sticky. let's uh, Sticky. back up yet Sticky. again. Um, Sticky. The thing about Windjammers is that it has a little bit of several sports in it, like soccer, tennis, volleyball. Um, basically every sport that isn't baseball and football, I can think of. I mean, the basic goal is that you have to score more points than your opponent by it when the timer runs out. And you do that by tossing this quote-unquote frisbee, because I can't license the name, back and forth. Um to into zones that the enemy is in front of. Uh, yellow zones, which are worth three points, and red zones, which are worth five, but are a little harder to hit. So, like, you are not only the offender, but you're also uh, basically the goalie. It's as much important to score as many points as it is to prevent your opponent from scoring any. And in addition to throwing them ahead, you can also lob them if they miss it. Like, you get two points if it lands on the other side. But, like, the real thing that spices up Windjammers is that um, whenever uh, the disc goes into the air, uh, you stand under it for a bit, and then your character like goes all, uh, I hate to say this, Super Saiyan, or what, whatever, like, you know, anime they, charge They charge up their power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah, didn't so have okay. to go that route. <sighs> I didn't. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm... And then they throw so, the so frisbee, the and it's a special attack, and it's got explosions, and it moves weirdly. Yeah. And a, a, another cool thing is that if they're far back enough into the goal, a super thr a super frisbee smashes them back enough so hard that they just like bounce into the goal and, and you get the points from it. Yeah, so, you can, so you can like, still score even though it crashes into your opponent and that is the best feeling in the world. Yeah, it really almost does feel exactly like a fighting game, but with disc. Oh wait, I want to say another game that this one is like. Uh, if anyone's played the rather fantastic uh, modern indie game Lethal League, this one is very much a predecessor to that. Yeah, th that's that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, there all of those yeah. games that are coming out these days that are some sort of two-player or team-player uh, sports game. Sports ball. Well, these are these whatever. are all like uh, fantasy sports or fake sports exactly. or yeah. sci-fi mm -hmm. future the best sports. Type of sport. Yeah, yeah. Why is it? Yeah, why is like it anybody sports? made one of these games and just called it sports ball? It seems like it's such low-hanging fruit. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I flubbed. Maybe they won't flubbed. Yeah, the, the, the trademark offer, the and they're like, okay, you want to trademark sports ball, and they're like, no, you, you can't trademark sports ball. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> hey, uh, someone's uh, gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, but another thing I want to mention is that, as we hinted to earlier, there are six characters. Uh, the burly dudes, uh, the not-so-burly dude, the not-as-burly lady. Yeah, there's, like, German, Italy, all sorts of... Uh... Interesting thing is, the lightest dude is, like, South Korean in one nationality, but he's, like, British in another, because... Oh, yeah. I forget exactly what that was. Uh, Lana, if you can, uh... Oh, I, I don't know the reason why, but I, I just... I It's that kind of 
stuff that you hear people hush about. I don't know why they had to do that, but on the new release of Windjammers that's coming out on PS4 from uh, .emu, they apparently had to use one of them. I'm pretty sure that they had to stick with the uh, Patrick Miller, which is the, the... I think that's Patrick Miller or something. Something Miller, uh, which is the British dude, right? And yeah, so, the, yeah. the Korean guy is called like, yeah, BU or U. BU, right, yeah. So uh, they, they couldn't use BU for some reason and they... Just, mm. I, they, they Jeff Gersman brought it up on the stream that they were doing about Windjammers and the guy from Daribo just said, oh no, yeah, we couldn't. We, could, we, we couldn't. It's, it's not... We're not, we're not based on like a real person <laughs> uh so it's a really cool like experience like the the uh art is great like so much energy all of the characters even though they have pretty much the exact same gestures uh when they actually win or lose they they all like run around the level differently like the, i think the german guy like shakes the stage like he runs up to the sides and shakes on the the cage and, and, and like shouts and yeah the other characters like dance and spin around and uh when they lose some of them throw the frisbee on the ground if they time out they're just like fuck this does anybody take a bite out of the flying disc when they i don't think so <laughs> I, I don't remember why. that but yeah and I, that was like it happened you would remember it but yeah yeah maybe uh but no like it's a very charming game and it has a uh, six stages i think that uh yeah each stage is presented differently so unlike uh, tennis or football where the the level is going to be the same because that's how sports work uh, in this case you know they sometimes have obstacles in the stage that cause the disc to bounce uh, the goals are separated differently so like the yellow margins and the red margins are in different places uh, you know there's some different flavor to everything going on which means that they actually thought about kind of putting in effort to make the game really interesting even with the fairly limited single player mode which is kind of actually not good it's very well like, don't, don't play this game as one person yeah, yeah like almost everything released on the neo geo it is often better with a pal but uh i mean yeah there really is a lot of variety with the a the six characters with varying levels of power and speed and b the different levels which um like my favorite one of those actually has uh i forget which one but like the it's like the other side of the enemy is harder to hit or whatever as you get more points like the actual zones behind them change the more points that get scored which is uh i, I think know, that's the stadium or oh, whatever it's like the last stage i think yeah, yeah the but... final boss more or less it changes the rules a little bit there yeah which is disappointing there is no final boss i really wanted some sort of super mega robot uh, like volley frisbee octopus machine. like frisbee puss or, or like, yeah i would have loved that a robotic frisbee foot puss that would be like, great how about a tiny alien in a UFO that becomes the disc and just keeps trying to run into your face or whatever? Just like periodically, like corrects its own course. It's like, no, I'm going this way. <laughs> yes, no, that'd be excellent. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I gotta say, like the 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 SNK games, like why they don't really ever have status like good single player experiences. I find it so weird because I've never met a Neo Geo fan who had friends. <laughs> so, wow. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> just... Hot takes. Yeah, uh, no, sorry. But, I, I love Neo Geo. Everybody, that's, that's, I love it. We, 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 we love got Neo Geo here. We We're we alienating the hell out of everybody. <laughs> Between all our balls and insults, you know, it's just... We we're, we, we apologize. <laughs> but we're Do doing we? things our way, so deal with it. <laughs> we gotta, we yeah, gotta so rank this one. You, you gotta put Windjammers in somewhere. You gotta jam it in the list, so... Uh, we're forgetting about we're forgetting about the the intermission mini games. Right, there oh, is yeah. the, a couple the of dog. mini games which are pretty good. I like that dog one because you become the uh, dog, don't you, or whatever. It's a bit weird. A dog. I know it's a, it's the only game where you start <laughs> as a frisbee and become a dog. I mean, you don't become dogs, Bower, but you know, a literal <laughs> dog is as, almost as good. So I didn't do that. Everybody, no, I know he's he's helping. Oh, he's he's ever infected my brain with this. <laughs> oh my god! But, but okay, yeah. So there's some nice intermissions, which are uh, kind of a light spot in what is always a kind of a grueling single player. It's six levels long, and it will cost you hundreds of credits to get through. It's a it's a tough Plus game. You're because, good. Uh, the AI cheats. I, Almost yeah, the AI is really smart. It's smarter than me. It I is. Although it once, is. once again, though, it should. 
It should be said once again though that this isn't an SNK game. It's uh, Data East, one of my it personal Data favorite. East. One of my personal favorite companies. I want to cover as many games by them on here. They did some great stuff in the '90s, and then they went bankrupt in 2005. It's not a, so, if there's uh, no off cameo, you know, I just don't feel like it's really a Data East game. It it's a weird game. Feel you, like one. If you but, slapped like SNK on the, or, like on the game, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, they made it. I believe that. But it's got Data East. It's like. All right, sure. I, I mean, mean, they make good games, so whatever. I mean, Data East is uh, behind Night Slashers, one of my personal favorite beat-em-ups. That almost doesn't feel like something they did. I mean, you know, compared to, like, Karnov or, like, the Robocop Tumble arcade Pop. game. Yeah, Tumble Pop. It, it does, and, you know, sometimes some companies just break out of their boundaries and create something, uh, you know, truly magical. And I do want to say, even if it was uh, not as recognized for its time, and it's still kind of niche... Some of us here nowadays, I would agree with Lana that Windjammers was really a trendsetter. Um, and kind of belatedly so, but yeah, it is. Yeah, just now people are realizing it. I swear at some point this game got way popular than it was at any point, because I think yeah. tons of indie indie developers are like, Yeah, I love Windjammers. Yeah, like, you, you can thank the Giant Bomb for that. Yeah, Giant, Giant Bomb, Bomb did that uh, pretty much single-handedly, like with Dave Lang and Jeff Gersman talking about it like yeah 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 I, I think i'm pretty sure they're the ones to blame for this <laughs> but uh, and, uh, okay so super we're gonna have well to put it somewhere i got to run in and, and just put this game somewhere okay uh so, okay i gotta uh, i guess so, like I... the immediate yeah go ahead above katamari what no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> nice punchline there. Now, do you have an actual oh. rating for us? <laughs> Look, I love wind jammers, but okay, you can play wherever you make want. But we're still, we're just gonna Ow. bully you down. You have the floor. Go ahead. Convince us. I think this is serious. Like, prove <laughs> your case. That's how you do it here. <laughs> yeah, do, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I just think it's yeah. such a good game. Like, yeah, it's a trendsetter, and I think like it's such a great like. Uh, tournament game like to get a bunch of friends playing together and get ranks on it like i i think it is like the grilled cheese of video games <laughs> wow See, i i have to come in here uh, unfortunately and say uh that so my games. problem with wind jammers which is why i can't place it as high as uh that uh is that it really needed wind jammers to the home port with all the trimmings and all the options, because they, they there's that, so though. much stuff that bothers me. They did. Is is there is there a proper one with settings and like Neo options? Neo Geo CD. That's it. what what is that version? Can you explain that version to me? Because I did not play the Neo Geo okay. CD. So okay. Okay. All right. So I, I dug so myself low. into a hole here because I don't I don't know what it actually is, but I'm just saying there is a home part. <laughs> it's for the new GSCD. We're not ranking that one. Well, I feel we've been hornswoggled here, honestly. <laughs> I mean, and Windy Ambers is great, but I I have a hard trouble ranking it that high if you're being serious. Well, um, okay, see, the thing serious, is, like, but it's okay to disagree. It's yeah, not it's like fine. <laughs> um, so the thing is, like, you know, I didn't like that you time out so quickly in this game. I really wish that you had a little bit more uh, clutch time, especially that you can time out when you're about to throw the disc or when the disc is kind of in midair or whatever. It's like, oh, I was going to win. And it's like, uh, yeah. I really that's wish that it call, had that. That's what we yeah. call timer scamming in the MLG level of things, I believe. Yeah, it, it has those little elements. I really wish that you had the option to turn off certain, like, uh, features or even the special abilities and stuff just to play it a little differently. No, I wish you, it had a doubles match what, mode. What, that would be really what, cool. What? If you don't have the yeah, special abilities, it's not Windjammers. It's, it's, it is a different game, but I really wish that you had a Windjammers version that let you really customize your experience to, you know, really play wow. exactly how you feel like playing yeah. at the time. No there, there, there is, there is, it's called Oni and an, an MVS arcade cabinet and being able to enter the service menu. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no specials, no special abilities, Steve only, final destination. That's yeah, exactly. Fun. That's 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 the uh, only way you can MLG it properly. Uh, basically, this uh, game is slightly too arcade game for me in terms of uh, it. It clearly wants to take your money, and it doesn't quite have the feature set that it needs to be an all-time classic. It's a very great game, but it's not. It's not top three. I don't think it's so, somewhere in maybe the top 30, 40? 
I, I was thinking me. like no, I'm, I'm I out was of thinking, here. Well, look, <laughs> this is bad. Oh, okay, so just, come back. <laughs> just to remind, just to remind people, like below the top thirty are games like Mega Man Three, R Type, right? Uh, Descent, yeah. Ill Bleed, well, Ill Bleed. Uh, I mean. That's, that's Hopefully a, that's it's a great a, game. I don't. I won't it's, it's keep. A great game. <laughs> it's a great it's a fair, game. It's a flawed like, gem, but it's a gem nonetheless. I, I'm not. I'm just saying it doesn't. It doesn't speak for itself just by saying the name. Like you say, Descent. Everybody's like, Oh yeah, yeah, Descent. It'll bleed. What? I, <laughs> hey, we gotta have a, uh, you know some uh, weirdos in the mix. Um, yes, yeah. but um, I mean, there's a like the list is very top heavy in that there's a lot of really good games that people nominate, and so it seems like we're pushing it really down like for instance like <laughs> another another uh well not i mean it's data use game but this is an essay but whatever another you know crystallis is like is like number like 78 i mean that's that's a know, good that, game i like that game a these lot these are good games so sticky it's, balls it's, just it's, got it's, second yeah sticky balls well, is look, a look, really look, great right. game. but <laughs> okay fine here arbitrary reason not enough bandanas all right Twin Jammers <laughs> had more characters wearing bandanas. I would be okay with it, but as it is, I'm going to really say that the single the mode is 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 uh, crappy. All right, and oh. I know that's not like the thing, that, but it has one. It's like if you're going to, it has a, one, and it's an arcade game. So unless you know you had friends hanging out at the arcade, you were stuck which, playing this one you single. No, they're all off bowling or something. You're <laughs> the one who's like, I'm going to play. <laughs> Why would you guys play wind jammers with me? Come on, guys. And they're like, nah, man, I'm picking up a spare. And that's it. I always yeah. sucked at bowling. So but there's bowling on this one, too. Yeah, but there actually bowling. is. I know, that was you can. Great. Right? And it's a great game, but... And that but, one's okay, actually player. You know, like, um, I, don't, I don't know, like, you know, we put, you know, we put Metroid at, at uh, 23. We've yeah. got Panja Jagoon Saga at 26. You know, these are fantastic games. Yeah, like, I, and I, I'm not sure if Windjammers hits hard enough. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Windjammers is not a good one-player game, for sure. It's but, it's yeah. It really lacks on that. I get what you're saying. But I think, like, and, if we're strict, strictly speaking on a two-player basis, like, getting your friends to play with you, com- true. like, uh, uh, competing against them, this is, like, Perfect bread and butter can competition I, can I check, game. Um, are the characters balanced? I have a hard time telling if they're balanced or if I should just be picking one of the fast characters. They're not that balanced was like in a like Nintendo ice hockey sense of like I'll take fatty, skinny, and fatty. You know, it's like, <laughs> they, it's like they a... have different abilities. Like some of them move. Uh, first of all, they all have different special abilities, uh, but they also have like uh, so. There's six characters, right? Yes, uh, okay. six. Yeah, so six characters. Every two characters have, like, they have two characters with the same attributes. Uh, speed and and uh, the the force with which you launch the frisbee. So you... Because it seems to me like your best choice is to pick the fast people and just kind of spam around. Because the ah. slower characters seem to just get beat all the time. Not quite, because if you're trying to score a goal, like... Yeah, there is some strategy. Like, I think if you're trying to score a goal, you can also get better chances if you take one that has more power that throws the frisbee faster. Which okay, because the game is really fast. It's hard to tell. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what um, I was saying. Like, okay. they have different attributes. All right. Okay. So let me sit. Let me let me just throw yeah, this out here. The game I would immediately compare it to on the list that's on there is Worms Armageddon. Oh my and god, so, I was looking right at there. I was thinking place it between well, Worms Armageddon is a similar it's a similar kind of thing where it's like it's a great game to play with other people. It's not really that much fun to play on your own. It's got uh it kind of is a um you know, it accomplishes many of the same things. And that said, although Worms Armageddon is a fantastic game, I would put Wind Jammers a little bit higher and I, I would Put it right below, I would say right below Deus Ex and right above Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Perfect. I, I was yeah. actually going to place it between Carmen and Worms, but I'm already bumping it one higher. So, sure. Uh, well, Carmen San Diego is awesome, mm-hmm. and she probably would really kick ass in the Windjammers arena. I, but, I feel like uh, that's what no, she, probably... she would just steal the disc yeah. and then you have to. Yeah. <laughs> You have to go to all the nationalities of the six players to find out where the hell she went. That was our last frisbee. I don't want to go to Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> so do we? So is, can everybody live with that? Yep, I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that. It's I, excellent. That's a really that's a really high ranking for Windjammers. Play Windjammers. 
Especially yes. if you have friends. The rest of you... Um, and, and it's coming, I mean, it's wait, coming out wait, for wait. Sort of. Yeah, are they going to improve That's, the PS4 yeah. version at all, or is it just uh, Windjam as basic? So, uh, it's basically just an emulator. It's They they didn't change a thing about in-game. Uh, so what they did basically was just menus for it and bring online multiplayer to it, except that hasn't been showcased yet, and I'm kind of worried about how that's going to fare out. Well, they're probably trying to make sure all the bandanas make it in. Yeah, they're, yeah. Mm -hmm. the yeah. PS4 version is the same game as the arcade. They're just putting a ROM into an emulator, breaking it out into menus for home play. Uh, you can change all the settings you want. You can pick the characters and stages that you want. Uh, I just really have a big personal gripe with how they scale the sprites. It, it looks <laughs> horrible, but it works. They always scale sprites badly for modern systems because modern TVs hate sprites, and I can understand you that. Don't, no, you can, there is a way to do that, right? And they didn't do it. It's been done. Yeah, like uh, the the, uh, the the Mega Man collection people, they know exactly. It's yeah. No, I, I, yeah, it depends how much money you want to spend on your uh, port, and I don't think that they spend much with that. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it all went into the bandana budget. It just got. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. fine. It all went to bandanas. Bandana, okay, I'll send you a bandana. <laughs> we got green bandanas. We got blue bandanas. We got yellow bandanas. We got all the bandanas. Uh -huh. Please right. donate right. to Patreon so we can buy Xerxes a bandana. He really needs more. <laughs> I've got several. I wear them all the time. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's close this. Let's close this episode out. Okay. And plunk it into the hall of shame where it no, this is this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs>